Big conventional ships have heavy fuel consumption and emit large amounts of carbon dioxide. The tightening in 2015 of international regulations on CO2 emissions has generated increased interest in eco-ship designs being developed in Japan. There are many kinds of eco-ship designs, but all aim to improve fuel consumption and reduce CO2 emissions. The solar panels on this car transporter ship, for example, provide power equivalent to that of 50 residential solar installations. Electrical power generated during a voyage is stored in onboard batteries. In port, the ship uses this power to provide electricity with zero CO2 emissions. This Japanese air lubrication technology is a world first. In conventional ships, energy is wasted overcoming frictional resistance between the hull and the water. Air lubrication technology greatly reduces hull resistance. Small air bubbles generated at the front of the ship flow along the bottom, creating a carpet of air. The bubbles act like a lubricant, reducing friction between hull and sea, so less fuel is needed to propel the ship through the water. In 2012, this ferry between Kyushu and Okinawa became the world's first ship to use the technology in practice. This pioneering vessel will help preserve the future of the beautiful seas around Okinawa. Most ships use screw propellers for propulsion. Contra-rotating propellers, where two propellers on the same shaft rotate in opposing directions, have been used on smaller vessels as an effective means to improve fuel consumption. Japanese shipbuilders have now succeeded in making the world's biggest contra-rotating propeller system. These 10-meter diameter propellers can drive very large merchant ships. The exact figure depends on the type of ship, but we can generally expect a fuel saving of about 10% with this system. Contra-rotating propeller technology continues to evolve. It's used in this ferry, which has linked Tokyo and its outlying islands since 2014. The rearmost propeller is mounted on its own pod, which can be rotated through a full 360 degrees. This allows the ferry to make very precise maneuvers using its own power. For example, when docking, the rear propeller is turned 90 degrees to push the stern against the pier. Dockside and harbour manoeuvres are much more efficient and require less fuel. This ship, which began operating in 2011, is powered by a generator and electric motor system. The generator directly supplies power to two sets of contra-rotating propellers, one at each end of the ship. I think this is an important development. It means our ship uses between 17 and 19 percent less fuel than a conventional vessel. In one year, this vessel uses 163,000 litres less fuel than a normally powered ship. That's about 800-200 litre oil drums. The second eco ship of the same type entered service in 2015. The construction of eco ships to reduce CO2 emissions has only just begun in earnest. As one of the world's leading shipbuilding nations, Japan is pioneering the way with advanced technologies and innovative concepts. <laughs>